This video tutorial from Universal Technical Systems covers report writing using TK Solver and Microsoft Word. We have a mathematical model here done in TK Solver. It's just a mechanical engineering example involving two uh, pulleys uh, joined by a belt. And uh, we're calculating things like center distance and the angle of wrap, these types of things. We'd now like to create a report based on the variables and equations in the model. Before we actually create the report, I'll cover some options that I recommend that you have set within TK. In the Options menu, General tab, Copy OLE Information should be checked. That allows you to maintain the formatting within the worksheets uh, in the reports as well. So the worksheets become illustrations within the reports. In the Environment tab, there are two items. One is the ML Single Object Paste option. ML stands for MathLook. Uh, if you have that checked, which we recommend, that allows the equations to be copied in blocks from the rule sheet or functions into the MathLook window. It's just more efficient to convert them uh, in bulk that way. I also recommend that you use as small a font as you can tolerate within your TK worksheets. This allows more information to be included uh, per page of your report, uh, particularly horizontally. Uh, you get a worksheet such as the uh, TK Solver variable sheet with multiple columns, and it's nice to be able to have all the columns fit on a single page of a report. The uh, Regular font style with size 8 works well for me. Now to uh, actually build a report, we would start on Microsoft Word. Start with any text. Of course, uh, once you're in Word, you can insert text wherever you like. Uh, first thing we'll put in here will be uh, some of the basic equations after uh, the introduction text. I'm just using Alt-Tab to switch back and forth between the applications. In order to get the equations over, we have two options. One would be right-click within the MathLook view at the bottom, and one by one, copy the equations you want in the report and paste them uh, into Word. And in many cases, uh, that's very efficient. Uh, you may want to discuss each of the equations separately. And just grabbing them, uh, copying them out of MathLook view here one by one works very well. On the other hand, sometimes you, you just want to have uh, a block of rules in your report. So you can click and drag on those rules, copy, I just hit Control C, switch to MathLook, and then paste. And those rules now appear within the MathLook window. I click on them, we see that a block has been formed. I strongly recommend that you drag the bottom of that block down a little bit, give it a little bit of extra space. I've noticed that uh, if you don't do that, sometimes some of the uh, bottom characters of the last rule can be uh, partially cut off. So just a little tip, pull that down to avoid that happening. Then you can copy. Switch back to Word, and we'll do an Edit, Paste Special as a picture. So those rules now appear within the report uh, as an illustration. The next thing we can show would be uh, how plots can be brought into reports. Uh, switching back to the TK model, here's the plot. Again, I can copy that and paste special once again. Now, plots, uh, they allow you to dynamically link the report with the underlying TK model. So we use paste link as a picture, and that plot is now dynamically linked. Uh, the, the, uh, the plot itself will change when the underlying values, plot values in the TK model change. 
So we'll switch back. And on the variable sheet, I'll change the value of the number of teeth on the smaller pulley to 22. Resolve. The plot has been updated with a new center distance. And when I switch back to the report, we see that that center distance appears in the plot there as well. So the plot is dynamic and it updates as the underlying model updates. Next thing I'll show would be uh, how to connect the variable sheet. Go to variables again, uh, click and drag, copy, switch back to Word, paste special. We can again link. The variable sheet is also linkable and we paste link as a TKW document object in order to maintain the formatting from the TK variable sheet. We see that that now appears within our report. Uh, we feel this gives you the, the best of both worlds. You get a nice uh, back solvable mathematical model in TK Solver and by linking that with your report in Word you also have a back solvable uh, document and report in that fashion so that if uh, variables and values change the report immediately updates. You don't have to redo the report just because you've changed which variables are inputs or outputs. That ends this session on report writing.